throw the ball around and uh, be actually or do actual football instead of you know off season workouts, which off season was good for us as a team and a unit. So um, being able to get back out there with the team and, and work through the the small things and the little details that we need to work through is it's good to finally be back out here doing that. I guess you come saw you for a little bit now. What's it like just competing against him? Uh, it's awesome. Um, I think competition makes me better. I think it makes him better um, to have two guys in the room that are you know good quarterbacks and, and that care about the game um, mentally and uh, physically. So for him to be in the room only adds a lot of depth to our room and only pushes me to be better. Blake, how do you keep your confidence high when you go through the quarterback competition last spring? When soon probably you're going to be the starter for multiple years, and now you're in a quarterback competition once again. Yeah, I mean, I think I've been in a quarterback battle almost every year I've been here, so I don't think anything's really new with that. So um, I don't, I don't look at it differently. I look at it as an opportunity to grow and get better, and and have that mindset to to keep growing and have someone just pushing me and making me better every single day. So. I'm looking to grow off of it. I'm not looking for anything to change my mindset. I want to grow and get better. Is there any particular thing that you feel like you need to work on or you're going to work on this spring? Yeah, I feel like there's always things that I need to work on and get better at. No matter, you know, if we went one ten games last year, there's always going to be something that I could get better at as a, as a leader, as a teammate, um, and as a player. So um, I think mentally I can get better. I can, you know, prepare. All, you can always prepare more um, than you did. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to work footwork and, and all the little things that go into being a good quarterback. So, What was your biggest takeaway looking back at last season and having time to process all that? What's the biggest thing you kind of learned from looking back at, at last season? You know, I feel like um, I failed probably at being a better leader than I should have last year. Um, I should have been a little bit more vocal than I probably was and so now I've taken, um, trying to take that step forward to be a more vocal leader and uh, to be a, to just inspire everyone around me too. Um, to come out every single day with my head up, going as hard as I can, um, and hopefully get some people to fall in line with that. So, you know, I'm working on being a better leader and just inspiring others around me. What's different in how you go through spring ball after having been the guy for a year versus taking over in game 11? So, what's different in how you go through spring ball this year having been the guy last season versus last spring? not coming in as the guy until game left? Um, you know, I'd say probably more experience. I had a full season under my belt last year, and um, I had, you know, three games of experience, or a little bit more than that, or a lot of it, a couple of them were my belt. But, um, yeah, I'd say experience. I mean, I had a full year last year. Um, I knew what a full season was like, and I went through that, so I'd probably say experience. Thank you for Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you all.